Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this arrived today. I wanted to do a quick video on this. Uh, I bought this one strictly for parts. I found this on eBay for, I think it was seven bucks, eight bucks, I don't really remember. Uh, anyway, I bought it uh, about a week ago and uh, arrived today. Not in terrible condition, hasn't been badly stored, been well played with, but somebody had just absolutely butchered this brush plate and uh, it wouldn't run and the wheels were just absolutely so covered with oxide that uh, couldn't get any power through them at all. If I ran it on the, the uh, contactor it ran great. Put it on the rail, wouldn't even move. Touch the wire to the wheels, nothing. So uh, I ran it attached to the uh, contactor and uh, grounded it to the uh, body of course and then just used a uh, single edge razor blade just to get the oxide off of the, uh, the wheels. Worked great. So just got this running. It's in uh, fair condition. Like I said, I bought it strictly for parts, but uh, I always try to get these things running. What I'll likely do is replace this brush plate. And uh, they had broken the ground connection, and so there was no continuity between the uh, uh, ground brush and the chassis, so it wouldn't run at all. Anyway, which is why I got it so cheap. But uh, it only took a few minutes, literally, to get this up and running. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on it. I ran it on the bench. This is going to be its first trip around the uh, rail. And uh, this, is, like I said, got here, I don't know, a couple hours ago. Um, not in terrible condition. It's missing the front lens, but I think I have one. And uh, hasn't been uh, damaged. There's no damage to it at all. It's actually quite clean. Uh, it just needs to be uh, cleaned up, lubed, and taken care of. It's been stored for years somewhere, but probably in a closet. There's no rust on it, no appreciable rust, but uh, there was lots of oxide. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. going to take it around, and the E-Unit is actually working on this engine. So uh, pulling, I think, I think we're pulling 18 cars. See how we do. That's running really well. So, as I always stress, don't overlook the jump. If you want to get into model railroading, you want to do this on a budget, this is the way to do it. It only took a few minutes to get this engine running. And I've got, I think I've got 18 of these things now. And I buy them just for the challenge of getting them running. I actually buy them, most of them, strictly for the parts they contain. But uh, so far, I've gotten 99% of these engines running and they never wind up as parts. I get them running well and they wind up on the shelf. And uh, so whenever I see a, an engine that I can get cheap, uh, $10 or less, I buy it. And uh, if it's in terrible condition, I strip it for the parts. If I can get it running, like I said, get it running, clean it up, uh, have you a, a good running engine for less than $10. And it's just a matter of knowing how they work. They're really, really simple to fix. Anyway, in this case, it's running uh, quite well, forward and backwards, which is a big surprise. Most of the engines I buy do not run backwards. And most of the engines I buy do not run at all. But it only takes a few minutes to get them running. A few drops of oil, cleaning the brushes, uh, doing a bypass on the E-Unit if you need to. You can get 99% of these old engines running. And usually just a couple of minutes. So another 999. Now this one's missing the front and the rear truck. And like I said, I bought it just for parts. The uh, uh, shell in particular is in really decent shape. It would be a good candidate for a, a refurb. has the Marks logo on the boiler. So, it's a fairly old engine. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Again, don't overlook the junk. This was, I think, 8 bucks on eBay. And it came with a tender. 
Uh, Tinder's a different story. It's really, really rusted. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Uh, it's running. Uh, got here a couple of hours ago. Uh, no major work to it. Just a, uh, a bit of trying to undo some of the damage that had been done to it. And it's running. It's actually running quite well. So I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.